were the youngest editor ever at Teen Vogue. Yeah, um, Condé Nast. Condé, yeah. Condé Nast, yeah. So how, how old were you and how did you get that job? Oh, so I was 29 when I got that job, but I have to say that I think what I'm most proud of is I am no longer the youngest, right? Because now there is it's someone who's even younger in the position, yeah. and she's also a black woman. Wow! And I'm very proud of her. Her name is Lindsay Peoples Wagner, you, and she's killing it there. But don't you think that you were like, when I think about people who are so impactful, you're one of those people because you Thank really you. forged a path. Thank you. That makes it possible for the next generation. And, and looking you. at you so young and talking about the next generation <laughs> seems funny, but. Um, and how did, you, how did you start at Ebony, right? That's how you yeah. broke into the business then? Yeah, so I cold called. Cold calling will get you anywhere. Really? Um, I with was, confidence, it, yeah. With, you know, you gotta mm -hmm. be like persistent. I, I sort of stalked an editor that I looked up to. I don't recommend that, actually. <laughs> but, um, and these were like the days before Instagram where you could just like slide into the DMs of anyone that you looked up to. Right, people right? don't like, know now how, like, how yeah, hard it used to be, right? I was like an investigative <laughs> journalist right. um, trying to find this woman because she just inspired me so much. And I just called and called and called and snail mailed and emailed and eventually the assistant was so annoyed that I was calling so often that she just gave me the opportunity to have a phone call and with with this woman who looked I looked up to her name was Harriet Cole and I will never forget the day that she decided to give me an informational phone call because it completely changed my life and uh, five months later she remembered that phone call called me back I thought it was a butt dial I was like <laughs> she saved my number and and the long story short the Cinderella career story is that I, she, I ended up working for her in New York City um, and my first big magazine job and it was a dream come true and that was at Ebony and my first cover shoot was Michelle Obama oh my god so it was like pinch me pinch me no I know I know